tell you a job I don't like. What? I wouldn't want to be doing. The the woman, there's a little woman who sits in the little <laughs> snack stall on Finchley Road. Station. Yeah. And I don't know how to describe it, really. She is surrounded by snacks. She can't move for snacks. It's like, look like American it, Beauty, but with, with, uh, different... Not dissimilar to that. Yeah. It's a little hut on the station. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, if you go to the seaside, you can put your head through one of those cardboard cutouts and it looks like you're a big fat person or whatever and you yeah. have your photo taken. It's like an equivalent of that, but it's just snacks everywhere. She's got bananas up to her chin. <laughs> She's got chocolate coming down to her eyes, crisps either side of her. She can't move. She can't do 360 degrees. She's, like, packed in there. I don't think... I don't know how she gets in there. I think morning. they put her in her first, and they put... Okay, pour in the bananas. Yeah. They go, and then they go, go pour in the nuts. She has and two just... hours of makeup before yeah, they open exactly, yeah. Dressing her in there. Because I'll ask for something from the fridge, and she cannot turn her head to see. She, she has just... to go by feel alone, just to feel the fridge, <laughs> and get stuff out and pass it. And often I'll say, that's not what I wanted, but she can't... You gotta let her off. It's oh, extraordinary, dear. but there's no music playing. Does she have nothing? to sell her way out of it? <laughs> exactly. If, 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 if it's a slow day, she's stuck yeah. there till the next day. Yeah, it's like a world-breaking attempt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carl, what job wouldn't you want to do? Well, any job. You're a lazy. F you're yeah. Joking, aren't you? Uh, I've done loads of stuff. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy now doing what I'm doing. Yeah. You but, look uh, happy. Trying to think. You I sound happy. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, calm down. You on drugs? I'm all right. I Are you on happy E? For England have won and that. I'm what? happy for them. Yeah, go on. I'm happy for them. I'm happy in that. Yeah. What well, do you mean happy for them? We are England. Happy yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we didn't play. I did very little towards it. No. It was mainly Johnny Wilkinson. Yeah, I barely yeah, contributed. <laughs> Switching on the TV was about as much as I did. <laughs> exactly. And shouting, "Come on!" Yeah. <laughs> Talking about jobs and that, though, I was reading the other day about. Um, like, you know, rubbish jobs that people have had and stuff. I haven't got time when I work, man. <laughs> just, I just get on with it. I'm yeah. not squiddly diddly. <laughs> Fingers in pies, different jobs. Go on. Uh, do you know Ivan the Terrible? Ivan. He, uh... It's, yeah, his Russian... Yeah, that was the Welsh fella. Who yeah. was who was bloody awful, <laughs> but not as bad as his Russian cousin. Ivan, yeah. go on. He, uh... He had a fella doing some work for him, right? Yeah. This fella built his house. Uh, after it was done, right, yeah. uh, the terrible fellow was like, uh, <laughs> fella Ivan. He, he yeah. was going, oh, it's brilliant, you've, you've done a good job there. Yeah. I don't want you to build another one like that. Took his eyes out. Just what? stopped him making an house like that. Another one? Blimey. That's why bad, didn't isn't it? Why didn't he take away his trowel? Then he could have seen, <laughs> yeah. but he couldn't have built a house without, without a trowel. You can't build a house without a trowel. Yeah. Oh, we, I, suppose he, I, I suppose he probably later thought that, once he'd been nicknamed Ivan the Terrible. Yeah, yeah. He thought, why? Why? Because you gouged people's eyes out. Yeah, but I didn't want to build another house. I know, but... Take his trowel away. What would I have been then? Well, <laughs> Ivan the Crafty, at most. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, uh, Ivan the Jealous, you know, Ivan yeah. the Spoiled Brat, but... Yeah. Ivan, uh, Ivan gouged someone's eyes out. That is bloody terrible. I'm surprised you're not called Ivan the... C Do you know what I yeah. mean? You're going to get on in history like with Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. He's mainly remembered for impaling people. Yeah. He did a lot of other stuff. He did a load of great charity but work he did. The impaling remembered. is the thing that's really yeah. gone down in history. <laughs> when were you reading about Ivan the Terrible? No, it's just or the Ivan story. the Terrible is the, <laughs> the the thing you remembered from this uh, informative article? No, it was, it was just little bits like that. It, talking about him, there was a thing about uh, someone who worked for that, that fellow who painted the ceiling. Sistine Chapel. Yeah. Th okay. There was a thing, the, the, a woman who worked for him in his house. And, um. I love how you assimilate information when it's just bordering on the academic or just, uh, or just the interesting and true. It's wonderful. Ivor the Terrible gouged someone's eyes out because built him an house. The f that fella who painted that ceiling <laughs> had a woman work for him. Imagine if you wrote that down in an essay. <laughs> Imagine if you wrote that in a school essay. Well, you'd probably end up with not, not getting a grade or... Yeah, or, or thinking you turned yeah. up to more than you had. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, the Go woman on. who lived with... Yeah, the woman who lived in a shoe. Go on. Yeah, yeah. there was this woman who, uh, who lived with him, and, uh, <laughs> she used to, like, you know, go out and do all this shopping and that. Yeah. Uh, but because she couldn't read or write, he used to have to draw everything that he wanted. Why couldn't he just tell her? I don't know. No, Why but no, 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 wait. That's an excellent point. <laughs> Could she talk? Yeah, but if it's a big list and that, loads of different coloured paints. But why and couldn't stuff. she draw, draw on a piece of paper? Why did he have to do? it? Because he's a better drawer, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. That's it. That is. We were just looking for the logic of the story. You found it. You done it. Player record. <laughs> he's a better drawer. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best of show on XFM one hundred four point nine. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Stephen Merchant. Yes.
I hope you're enjoying the best of. I'm amazed that these are the highlights and that we've strung it out this long, Rick. But the good thing about this is, we're not here, we recorded this a couple of weeks ago, just the links, right? This has taken us about ten minutes for the whole show. We get paid the same. Why don't we do this every week? <laughs> That's a great idea. High five. High five. Listen to this clip, it's brilliant. Um, I think that my new TV is too big, Rick. I said that. I know, I don't know what I was thinking. But I, I, I can't believe it. He talks about this buying it. He's got a bit of cash now, of course. And, uh, what is it? 42 inches? Mm. 42 inch plasma screen. What did it cost you? Three grand or something? Oh, don't tell me. That's, that's, that's Wow, huge. it's ridiculous. Three and a half grand. Three and a half grand. Big spender. Uh, of course it's too big. Well, I can't get far enough back in my room, in my living room for it. You know, you know it, for, you're meant to be, I think, four times the screen size away from it. Really? To get out from the air. So that's four times 42 inches you're meant to be sitting away from it, which is impossible. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I'll have to just get friendly with the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch it through a hat. <laughs> yeah. if, if that's the case, though, aren't you better off just getting a portable? What? I don't understand that rule. Well, what, to get... what are you saying? Well, you're meant to be four times the screen size away from the TV. But well, then what's the, the point in having a big telly if you've got to keep moving further back? Get a portable. <laughs> and sit and right sit next to it. it. <laughs> do see your point. Why do people go to the cinema, then? Did you see films that aren't out yet? <laughs> Fair enough, he's got you there. Dom. I tell you this, though, <laughs> I had it delivered, and, um, I, are you supposed to tip delivery men? Of course you I are. I don't know. You well, well, if I, I've never had anything delivered before. I've never well, spent no, that not, much if money. It, not if it's a courier with an envelope, but if it's a bloke who's struggled up the stairs, I two, the door two open fat blokes with a fridge, then give him a fiver for a drink. But, but the problem was, I didn't realise, and I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I've got to tip him. And the guy was leaving, and my mobile phone went off in my pocket. Yeah. And I reached in to get it. He put his hand out, thinking it was a tip. I went, oh, it's just my phone. Oh. And I felt terrible after he left. I didn't know. I, I, what was I going to do? Run down the street and offer him a fiver? No. No, of course not. No. I'm not making no. money. I just spent it all <laughs> on TV. <laughs> yeah, I've got no money, mate. Yeah. I just spent it all on yeah. this. I had to clean out my jar, exactly. everything, the drawers. Yeah, I'd take some, um, yeah, bottles back. What, what, you, I, what the problem was it took me forever to wire it in. I thought I'm not gonna pay for someone to wire it up, you know. So I took me about three hours to wire it in and it was huge and I got it switched on and the first programme that was on when I got it wired in was Bargain Hunt. I'll tell you this, David Dickinson's tan almost took me eyeballs out. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. It was just, oh, it was like it was like X rays. It was so close. You know, a huge plasma screen with this orange thing yeah. coming out, of the, and he keeps and he keeps turning to the camera, <laughs> course, doesn't he? That just grin. to get you. Yeah, he turns away. You get a bit close. They go, "What's he doing?" He just turns <laughs> exactly, around, yeah. takes the cornea off. What do you think, Bargain Hunters? Bargain Hunters. Bargain Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, well, that's why I'd buy a plasma screen to watch, um, to watch Bargain, Bargain Hunt. Hunt. I mean, it's ludicrous. This is the problem. Is because you, yeah, what do you I watch? Mean, have you watched anything that? That's been worth having. The I only thing I've watched really worth watching. Twenty four. Well, yeah, twenty four works great, but oh, also right. films. Obviously, that's the main reason mm. I bought it because films just look amazing on the yeah DVD on on yeah. the plasma yeah. screen. So if you're into films and that, yeah. it's just that I only, you know, I've just got the got the five channels and flicking about, and I'm I'm not impressed. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why more people listen to radio and stuff. Yeah. Cause, well, not this one, but go on. Well, <laughs> I, when was it? When was uh? The last time I sort of sat down and had time, because I'm always busy doing stuff on that. Sure. Um... Moaning takes up about three hours a day. Mm. When did... When did Wimbledon, uh, finish? A couple of weeks ago. Right. Found myself sat there, right? I'm not having a go. I know we stopped Cheeky Freak of the Week and all that, right? So Christ. I'm not, I'm not gonna be having a go. Christ. I sat right. there. I'm scared. No, I'm not having a go. You've always got to remember that. Go I'm on, just, just, just get on with it. Get on with it. I'll apologise after. I'm just saying, watching Wimbledon, it wasn't, uh, you know, one of the major games. It was, uh... Right. Little fellas in a in a wheelchair having a having a game. Little fellas in a wheelchair. Right. But for me, I mean, you know, great. They're doing a the sport and everything. But don't put it on the telly. <laughs> what was up with it? It wasn't there wasn't like a rally going on. <laughs> no, do you know what I mean? Do you know oh, normally Christ. like with the with the with your, well, not to Enman, but with some of the other <laughs> With, with some of the other players and that, they're playing for ages, aren't they? And it's like, yeah. oh, who's gonna win this and that? Yeah. None of that. It was just like, hit it, net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ! Oh, God! I don't know what to do! What, 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 and people, people would like, sat there watching it as well, when they've got other games going on in there. That's what I couldn't understand. If you've paid your money to oh, get God. in... Yeah. I mean, like I say, good on them if they... Do you know what I mean? But it would have been... I and they all start I, first in the marathon. I just thought it would have... You know, give him a game of swing ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? No, yeah, 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 I understand. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. God. There's never anything XFM on. XFM in the community. <laughs> Let's play a tune with Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Ricky Dodd Gervais. XFM. Don't put my name <laughs> to this last link. <laughs> Don't put my name to this last link. Ricky.Gervais, xfm.co.uk. Oh, Magic, Virgin, if you're listening, we are available probably sooner than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now time for one of our regular features. Monkey News. Do the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> what what we're doing here is, right, is uh just giving you a bit of bit of monkey news that's that's gone on, right? Where a monkey's been involved in it. Good little story in that. Yeah. Uh are you familiar with the one that went into space? The first uh, the first sort of thing they ever sent up there before man did it and all that. You see, this is what annoys me with it really. Armstrong gets all the all the glory, but do you know who went up there before before him? A monkey. Yeah. And what happened is they taught it um, what buttons to hit at the time that it needed to hit them, and, and the way they did this was, like, give it bananas. It was like, hit the red button, and it hit the red button, they'd give it a banana. Right. And they go, right, reverse is the green one, hit the green one. And then they do that and go, there's a banana. And then they go, right, hit reverse, and it go, and get a banana. Right. Hit the red, so it was taking commands on, like, headphones. Right, but how are they giving it the banana? Is that how you learn to do radio? <laughs> how are they giving it the banana? What do you mean? No, well, this is before it went. You, do, you wouldn't right. just go and put a monkey in it and go, there you go, get on with it. They'd sort of put him in one of them capsules that you get. Yeah. And they were th on headphones. I, I don't believe this happened. Well, I'm telling you the story now, so the monkey. I don't sat... think they trained it to do anything. I think they sent it up there and he put electrodes coming out of it to no, see what... what it uh, wasn't it's... any of that. They did a thing like they do. Like, right. Like they can with animals. If you give something, uh, you know, like a treat... You can teach it how to do it. It's just like a dog, isn't it? When it's you... called Pavlovian conditioning. However, that was to see if it would salivate or go over to no, a particular it... corner, yeah. not if it could control a spacecraft. <laughs> next one up. It's the next one up. It, as far as the, the monkey's not sat there going, oh, I'm a bit under pressure here, it's a rocket. All that's knowing is I'm getting a banana if I hit that button. That's all the monkey's thinking about. Right? <laughs> they wouldn't, but billions well, of space but dollars. But how can they be sure that it's going to press the button at the right moment? Because it's got headphones on. <laughs> it's not like willy-nilly. It's not just like pop it in there and see he was that. What's to stop it from just hitting it any old time? Because it's a monkey and it's, it's not a human. Because he's trained now. But oh, anyway, he's trained. So he's listen, fully trained, yeah. Go so on. what happened is, anyway... Oh, this is absolute rubbish. They pop the monkey in there. Yeah. It's got his headphones on. They're going, right, hit the green one. And uh, I think there's something there that a little banana comes out to keep the same. <laughs> no, you're making this up. I'm not. It's the same. There's no way that they made uh, uh, a right, spacecraft so, so can, that had a <laughs> banana dispenser. Right, there's so, no way in this world that they made a spacecraft that could go into mm, outer space, right? So what, so manned you're, so by you're, a monkey mm, with a banana dispenser. So you're saying that it's easy to send something up to space, but you don't believe there's a little banana machine? Right, okay, so... So, it comes to the launch day, monkeys, monkeys sat in there, uh, everyone's ready, bananas are stocked up and all the rest of it. They go, right, hit the green button. Right, and the rocket goes off and what have you. No, they would not make the monkey launch the rocket. Carl, so, you, are, you are living in a, a so, cartoon world. So the rocket goes off, right? <laughs> this is absolute bollocks! It's all going well. You are, you, I mean, I don't know it's what you're going to... It's, it's not going well. It's going There's well. no way a monkey launched it's a going... rocket. There is no way a monkey launched a rocket, so you idiot. it's all going on, so they're going, hit the left button, and, it's, and it goes a little bit left. left button? Right, oh, so... well-known spacecraft command. This is Houston. Hit the left button. <laughs> oh, brilliant. This is what happened in Pyro 13. Hit the left button. So it, you it, are, oh, it you goes are. left. Yeah, it goes left. So it goes left, and it's, it's going away. Left! It goes yeah. left! Yeah. No, the moon! So You're going goes, right! It goes, it goes for the moon, Everything, everything's going well. Right. Uh, they get up there, it does whatever it does. It reverse, it comes back. <laughs> So then you are so, honestly you are brain dead. So it's you long, are one of the most stupid people that I would rather have mm, the monkey drive right, listen, me home than you. So the thing is so it lands back. Yeah. It does a good job and everything. It gets out. Um and this it's is this sick is of bananas. this is where this is where it turns a bit sad because after it's done that mission, yeah. right? Because <laughs> it happened and it, and it was all safe and everything. The next one would have been to send man. Right. So the monkey enjoyed it, and it was like, well, I want to do it again, right? But they were like... So how did they know that? How did they know just, he wanted to do it? Just the way it looked and what have you, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! Just the way it looked! 
<laughs> so, you are a maniac. So the thing is, though, right, so after it had done that, it was on such a high, right, <laughs> Yeah. It could it could never get that high again. Turned there was nothing drugs. there was nothing that it could do. Went on tour, did it? It did it, it sort of ended up killing itself. <laughs> because it could never never get that buzz that it right, got. That was absolute bollocks. None of that is true, except <laughs> they sent a monkey into space. And I'll and I'll, mm. I'll check that. Absolute drivel. So it, in your mind it committed suicide. It had a, it went on a crazy bender of drinking drugs and women. And like then, it does happen, you know. It was about found it. in a motel room. <laughs> I met uh, Derek Akora the other week. Oh, yeah. Right. And, and who's he? Which one's he? He's a... Is he, is he a medium? He can contact the dead, is that right? He just chats to him and that, sure. passes messages on. Nice of him. So I said, oh, tell us something a bit weird and that. So he mm. said, what do you want to know? I said, just, just something weird. So he goes, all right, then. He said, uh, here's one for you, right? And he said, uh, there's this pub out in the country. And uh, he said, there's this mug. Do you know those old mugs that they have where they used to... They used to like leave their own cup, knocking like about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The tankard thing. Yeah. So, uh, so there was there was one of them mugs in there, right? And everybody. Tankard. Like, Let's use a tankard if we've right, established that. Tankard, yeah. Because yeah. you're the only mug in this story. Right. Nice. Believing it all. High five. <laughs> Great. So this tankard's knocking about, right? And everyone who's running the pub keeps going, "Oh, I wish they'd stop leaving this tankard about," right? Mm -hmm. And they pick it up. <laughs> it must be a pain. <laughs> Having a, a tiny, small tankard in a pub, that must be a real grind. So, so every t they sort of picked it up and went, we'll have to wash that, and they popped it on a different mm. sideboard. Next thing you know, that person who's touched it died, right? Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> they must have been getting through bar staff. So they got, so they kept getting a new staff and that, and they went, oh, what's the connection here? Right? <laughs> what's the connection here? Oh, God. So they get a vicar in. Of course they do. And they go, look, um, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. This this tankard. Every time someone touches it, they die. So he said, "Leave it with me." He gets his um, special water out and what have you. He comes round, does a little prayer, sprinkles it. He goes, "Right, not a problem. Don't worry about it." He picks it up, chucks it in the bin. Guess what? What? Dies in a crash on the way because he picked it up. Well, but 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 Carl, you're telling me this like it's fact, and I meant to go. That's amazing. Dirty Cora. He told me. <laughs> It's Carl. I have, I have, I have, I have no opinion of that story, other than I'm pretty sure there was absolutely no connection between touching the tankard and him dying. That's all I'm sure it's of. It's not just him, though, is it? I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to even um, uh, contest the, the chain of events. All I'm saying is there is no connection. There is no connection possible because I believe in logic and the laws of the universe. Yeah, but what I mean, you never pick up a vibe of. Like, I, I, I've got a mate, right? Who uh, he's, he's living in this big stately home, right? And he's living in there now. He pays hundred pound a month. There's about eighty rooms, Gee. and uh, it's this big stately house, might be. And I went, I went down there. He said, "Oh, come down, and have a look, right?" And from outside, you go, oh, "This is brilliant. It's like something out of, you know, like the Manor Born or something." You go, "This is this is impressive," but then when you get in, it's like it's a wreck, and and we go in. And all the floors are like a wreck and rotten and stuff. And I looked at the wall and there was like a little piece of paper stuck on the wall, oh. right? And I said, what's this here? So I wandered over, right? Got right up close to it and somebody had wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> somebody had wrote it? No. Oh. Some... Somebody had wrote it. Right. Like, I love someone... this. You can do it. Right, go on. Yeah, go on. So, Sorry. So there's, it. there's a little sign there, right? And I go up to it and it says, flies, right, with an arrow, flies, like, flies this way. Yep. Right, I think that's that's a bit weird. <laughs> so I follow the arrow, right, which goes to this corner where there's a shelf, about three thousand dead flies on it. Oh my god! Condom stuck on the top. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. that's weird. Isn't that it? is weird. That is that weird. Is weird. Right? So I'm looking at that, and there's there's loads of stuff on the floor and that bits of paper. Picked up this bit of paper, right, and it had uh, like in biro and that. It looked really old, like it'd been there years. And it had uh, uh, something like need nappies, dummy, right? Uh, blankets, blah, blah, all this, like all stuff for like. And I turned it over, right? And it said, none of this now needed, baby dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> now that's weird, isn't it? Now that's what I'm talking about when you get a bad vibe. You go, that's, that's, who's been in here? 
it's bad vibe is just based on the fact that... Your mate's in charge. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so it's like saying, are we scared of the dark? Yes, it's, I understand why people are scared of the dark. I'm a little bit scared of the dark. You're walking along... Cos you, you don't know what's in it. Yeah, you don't yeah. know what's in the darkness. That's why people get nervous. It doesn't mean you have to make the leap then that you've got some paranormal sense. Oh, my God, I'm Carl Pilkington, and hang on, just like Derek Akora, I have sensed something strange and evil in this room. Wait a minute, there's some flies in a condom. <laughs> I was right all along. That is weird. Flies and a Johnny equals badness. <laughs> the, the flies and a condom was weird. It's now. weird. I don't know. But, it's but, but the note, the note. Yeah. I just think of his face when he saw that reading it by torchlight. He must have been terrified. It's a bit. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah, it is quiz time. Three. This is this is the moment we've uh, all been looking forward to. Uh, do you want to do you want to uh, tease te- te- them with the prizes? No. <laughs> not really, because they no. might not bother phoning in. Or, it, or it's not a phone, or is it? It's an email. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me, a quick reminder. Then we've got to the office. I don't want people to think that we'll just keep plugging the office DVD. We've got nothing else to give away. No, no one gives anything away. No, no that's just why. hanging around in Carl's little room. Did you get a guy from HMV just to? Did you get a guy just to nick these from HMV? The, and the, the beard and the ponytail. Was that yeah. the story? Right. So we got the Office uh, DVD, obviously. Uh, we got uh, the remix, uh, XFM's remix album, uh, Volume 2. That's uh, sort of remixes of various tunes. Quite a good little compilation album here. One of those kind of the best Coldplay, Travis, Oasis, blah, 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 albums in the world Excellent. ever. And, Let's uh, take some of them, because yeah. there's nothing in the library. <laughs> exactly, have a look on there. Four Alanis Morissette, nine Catatonia. <laughs> I just counted that. But that thing. Uh, the big one, the big star prize that you're all playing for is, of course, the DVD <laughs> widescreen version of Children of the Corn, <laughs> Stephen King's horror film, lest we forget it's got Peter Horton <laughs> as the star. <laughs> so, <laughs> so look forward to that. Um, are we g- we're going to uh, give Shadow away separately, are we? We're going to uh, do that separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll give away the, sh- the DJ Shadow tickets at a separate. Right. So we're playing for those DVDs and CDs, and what and we're it's an email do, competition. Don't bother e- phoning. Email. In. Yeah, the phone lines are lighting up a bit. So put the phone down. Get the computer started up, yep. and it's ricky.gervais at xfn.co.uk if you know the answers to these, right? And the way it works, we did it last week, but if you didn't hear it, I give you some initials and like a bit of a cryptic clue. So, and uh, you work out who the band is or the artist, okay. right? It's always it's always a band or an artist. It's not any TV programs and that. Uh-huh. So uh, say like last week we had um, uh, we had S, didn't we? And it was uh, better than the average homeless person, and that was Super Trump, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not always XFM music. It can be anything. And there's three of them. Um, they've got to get all three of them. You've got to get all three Did and email in. I know. Like how long this intro so far has <laughs> taken. Exactly. Yeah, but, but, but here we go then, right? right. First initials, L-R. L-R. L-R, okay. right? Yeah. And the cryptic clue is, uh, I'll You should have thought it through. You should have thought it out before you came in. Yeah, yeah cryptic clue. You've got it. Yeah. Um, I'll take that book to the toilet with me. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. Yeah, yeah. L-R. L-R. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. And don't shout out if you know the answer, cos... No. No idea, Carl. No idea. Right, okay, so there's one. Right, the second one, F-L. F-L. This one's actually been emailed in as a suggestion. Okay. Uh, that person who's done that, don't email in, cos you're disqualified <laughs> from the comp. Uh, so... <laughs> I'd love him to be a teacher. So... It'd be great, wouldn't it? Just to see him one day. Can't we do that? Can't we get you a placement somewhere to, for you to teach history to sort of like, you know, 14 year olds? I think science, Rick. Science would be good, yeah. Right. I, I, I'll tell you what. Go uh, you got a lot of, um, t- just quickly, for me, Carl, explain, say, um, what can we get him to explain that everyone learns the kid science? Uh, photosynthesis. <laughs> 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 right. So F L, right? F L are the letters and the cryptic clue. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Yeah. Blow okay. the candles out before you eat the cake. The letters there. F L. All right. right. We've got L R. We've got F L. Yeah. And finally, the third one. N S. Hold on. How many have they got to get? Three. Three. Don't worry. There's no more after this, Rick. right? N S. How can I wash up in something shaped like that? <laughs> right, that's one of mine. <laughs> so, so very quickly recap, just in case we missed any. Oh. L R is the first one. L R. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. Cryptic clue. N. Uh, we had F L. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. And the final one, N S. How can I wash up in something shaped like that? If you think you know the bands, you just email in Ricky at xfm.co.uk. You win the DVDs, the CDs, and, uh, that's it.
He's <laughs> great, isn't he? I could just, I could sit here and watch him all day do this. Well, um, so Ricky dot Gervais at XFM dot co dot uh, uk. And we'll give the answers out just before you know we finish because okay. then we'll keep them locked. Competition answer time is it, Carl? Yeah, we did. Uh, we did this like uh, about an hour ago. Rockbusters. Yeah. Rockbusters. With Carl Bilkington. Yeah, uh, I gave you some initials. The initials sort of uh, made up a band. We had LR. We had. Uh, NS. Yeah, yeah just, just, well, give us the clues. Give us the clues and the answers. What's it, what? Right, so, LR, the clue was, I'll take that book to the toilet with me. The, the answer? answer? Lou Reed. Lou Reed. Good. Lou That's Reed. very good. That's okay. very good, Carl. Well, yeah, right. okay, next one. FL, blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Yeah. yeah? We just play them. Flaming right. lips. There we are. Very okay, good. and the final one was <laughs> NS, how can I wash up in something shaped like this? Yeah. That was NSYNC. All right. Carl, okay. well, just briefly. This is, uh, module, uh, 4A, uh, Natural History, yeah? yeah? Just, just briefly explain, um, uh, evolution. Since, you know, natural selection, origin of the species, Darwin, like, just briefly describe. That's the monkey thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh, well done. Yeah, go Where on. Where'd Carl? What, we, don't you have fancy playing? Um, Rick. <laughs> I know you're always keen to rejuvenate the reputations of certain artists when you think maybe they've been kind of unfairly treated in yeah. the, uh, history of rock and roll. Yeah. I'll tell you a band I've always thought has been treated badly. Yeah. The Lemonheads. Go on. You with me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lemonheads, if I could talk, I'd tell you. Yeah. He wrote some good little tunes, Evan yeah, Dando, no, before he went good. to potty. What would you rather have, right? Hey, Carl, would you rather have a lemon for a head, <laughs> a radio for a head, um... What other band is there with something head? Radiohead. Oh, you've done that. Yeah. <laughs> or a talking head. <laughs> <laughs> right. Third one. No, but you don't know what. It, it, no, because you've got you, and then you've got uh, someone else's head on top, and it, it doesn't shut up. It's my head. It's my talking head coming out of your head. Yeah. So a radio head, just a radio head, and you can tune in, right? You know, you said there, Carl, that <laughs> wasps were one of the most irritating <laughs> things on the planet. Can I offer another suggestion? <laughs> yeah. You with me on that? All right, all right. I am <laughs> no, today. go on then. Okay, Educating we're... Ricky, we've got, we got, we got two left, haven't we? I'm looking we've forward to these. We've still got two more. We've still got, uh, if only it was raining. Yeah. And, uh, what's tomato with you? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I wish the <laughs> listeners could see how happy he was when we started getting emails coming in. Oh yeah, people they're flooding in actually. Yeah, and he's oh, so happy he started pretty... dancing along, going, "Well, that proves it's a good competition." He said, "Look, look at that! Look at that! Oh, look at that, mate! What? There's look loads of people that. emailing there." Yeah, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it is, Carl. It's not the competition. It's this children of the, the corn, corn widescreen DVD. <laughs> Next week, some staples and pencils. <laughs> I tell you what, a piece of carpet. <laughs> I'll tell you what, right? What? Well, now we've got them and they're staying, something we, we've still got to do yeah. is, uh... He is running the show now, he's doing well, isn't he? Because I've done nothing, I've done nothing towards this. I'm coming out of my hangover a little bit, if you're worried. Remember, <laughs> remember, so, go remember, on. Remember last week, we yeah. started a new feature called, yeah. uh, That Song's Got a Good Story in it. And, Brilliant, and, I love your catchy titles, they're excellent! Right, and the idea was, it was a story in yeah. a song, which meant that if it was played on the radio, you couldn't just, like, fade it out, because you've got to have the full story. Yeah. Right, well, last week we started the feature with Stevie Wonder, uh, Living for the City. Yeah. Right? But you yeah. played the version where it fades out. Yeah, I didn't know there was more to it, so Steve told me what album it was on. Yeah. I've gone and got it, we've got the second half to that story. Yeah. This week. Yeah. So, you've got half the story, what was it, what had happened is, like, <laughs> the lad's living in Mississippi, there's not much going on there. <laughs> Mississippi? That, that's that someone off Rainbow's mum? Yeah. Um, living, what, Mississippi? Yeah. He, his dad's, was his, his mum was a cleaner. Yeah. Trying to get by, they didn't have a great life, but they still looked after the kids and yes. stuff. There's more to it than that. Have you got it ready? <laughs> There's more to it than okay. that! Yeah, I should hope so! We'll probably do it at about half past three. So look okay. forward to that, the second it's half of that. Stevie Wonder's Living for the City, <laughs> a week later. <laughs> I love a show that's carefully planned. <laughs> so, so listen, that, I, I'm, I watched got, the tomato This isn't thing. a show, this isn't a show. This isn't a radio show. <laughs> this is, I don't know what this is. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> we, we might as well start banging tambourines and, uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> This is rubbish, <laughs> right? But why? <laughs> some people emailed in. <laughs> Put him in a wheelie bin. Went to Blackpool, <laughs> right? Um, some people emailed in the stories, songs with stories in. And one of them was Babushka, and he went, "What's that?" 
and I went and asked Katie Bush, I went, what is it? I said, oh, it's about a woman who dresses up as another woman to introduce her husband. He went, they wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Just dismissed it like that. Why do you think it would work? Because you'd, you'd know. I mean, say like, say like, um, right, Suzanne, right, who yeah. I go out with, yeah. right? She can see me from, say, if I'm coming down the high street. Yeah. She knows it's me by the way I walk. <laughs> right. So, just the fact that this woman went and put a wig on, there is no... <laughs> you haven't even heard the song! I know, but you're saying that she put a disguise on and he's yeah. like, oh, I fancy her, and he texts her out, and he, he doesn't know it's his missus. It's just... <laughs> You're not, you're not buying it. I mean, I'm, I'm controlling this Where is the flea? Where is the flea with your brain going to Glasgow? Perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Babushka, rubbish. Carl, can we have the tomato story after the next tune? Yeah. Bit of Coldplay? Yeah, love it. Yeah.